Here's okay. what we want to know, right? Is basically when we did this episode, we did a whole episode about it where Dom revealed like that list that you gave to Jack of like the what I think it was like 14 different names or something. And they were just like they were it was literally just like the all-star team of everyone in Asia, like all the best fucking Korean players in every position. Right. When you gave that, this is the question, Svens game. Did you do that as sort of a polite way of just saying, I'm basically going to leave? Because like it was almost impossible he could have got those names. Like even, like even though Team could have tried for names like that, even they don't get like three names like that. Like they'd be looking to get one like Core JJ or something like that. So when you gave him that list, you were, the implication is you kind of knew you were going, right? You were kind of like, yeah, I'd stay if you, if you did this impossible <coughs> thing for me. Um, yes, kind of. It was so... You didn't really think he was getting chovy and fucking like <laughs> or whatever, shy or whatever it was. Like, come on. Well, the way it was like kind of handled was that I was in negotiations with Jack and I was kind of explaining to him that I wanted to move on from the team. And it came down to like an ultimatum kind of like, whereas he was like, okay, if like, what would it take? For you to oh, stay right. He actually presented the scenario, like, what could I yes. do, essentially? And so you gave him a ridiculous scenario, but it was because you just, essentially, you didn't want to be in that Cloud9 team anymore, unless it was, like, basically the best team in the world. Basically, yeah. Unless okay. he would get one of these players, I wanted to move on. And he just said, like, okay, this list is kind of impossible, so took it as that and then let me move on teams that's actually one important. thing i have that's an issue for me with that whole issue is this mate is that was presented publicly that jack is such a next level gangster he always wanted to go with blabber so what he did was he like built up fazel and svenskaren he sold them when svenskaren was the mvp <laughs> but he kept blabber and like all these next level chess moves but the problem with that angle is every story you hear svenskaren could have been in cloud nine if he wanted to right now so it's just not true and then the angle that like they knew blabber was better it's just clearly not true otherwise they wouldn't waste their time negotiating with svenskaren when he costs more money like none of these like i actually feel like that's the story since game that like the public just hasn't got like they've got like one side of it and it's not that cloud nine has lied they've just presented it a certain way that have let people take that conclusion like you could be in cloud nine this year if you'd wanted to be right i mean i was still contracted so i'm sure i could have been unless jack just sold me but Were you I mean, worried about the idea of being benched though, like at Worlds? Uh, well, they did bench me at Worlds, so... Well, yeah, but I'm, that was, like, was that a factor big... to leave, though, basically? Oh, yes, definitely. That was, like, the big reason why I wanted to uh, move teams. Otherwise, I would have probably stayed. Yeah, I okay. mean, that that looked absolutely insane from the, the outside, right? Because we're just here expecting yes. to see... You know, Svenskar, the MVP of the league at Worlds, like... And then, I think you played, like... Would you play two out of the four games or three out of the, the four games? I know that uh, they put in Blabber for two of the, the games in the first week, which is, like, really important. It was just, yeah, it was really rough because I played three games and he played three games, but the way it was done was just really poorly. Like, I remember going into the, the games I got. Like, I won the first game and then Blabber played the next two. And then when I got slapped back in, like, basically, we had to win that game or we were out of Worlds. And <laughs> to me, that was kind of crazy considering I just won my last game and then the next game I'm getting sucked into is the deciding match and I'm just like uh I wouldn't say well I mean it just kind of messed with my mental a little bit so yeah we kind of just got demolished I'll tell you something fucked up I heard have you heard this Tom I wonder if this got to you I heard literally because I was the same thing on even when I was doing like so many insight on, on camera I would say every single time like why is why is Finn Scare not being played like what's the point of this the little bird I heard told me this Tom that basically Reaper and Cloud9 thought we're not getting out of this group with Griffin and G2 anyway so they just fucked around and put Blabber in to give them experience that's what I heard uh, fucked I, up by the way to be in a world's group and do that in best of one where like a million teams have fluked it upset the bigger team like it's doable of course so I, but that's what i heard i, I heard i heard something you different. hear anything similar no I'm, what, what i heard was that um essentially like blabber was just like a more like aggressive jungler and to like play against these like Some scrims and stuff yeah like these high tier junglers like they, they weren't gonna win with like svenskaren's like more like you know controlled style um, okay. So they pretty much sent Blabber in there, like, "Hey, like, go fuck him up, kid. Like, get yes. in there, like, invade some oh, golems, God. like, yeah. yeah, like, just be like, just like, fuck up the game a little bit, and maybe we have a better chance of like winning okay. that type of game um, than you know, like, a stable game because they're just a better team than us." Are either of these like like accurate? Because I mean, obviously, these are just things that we're hearing behind the scenes. Yeah, it's just speculation. What do you think? What is that line with anything you've heard, Svenskaren? Um, uh, I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, when the rust stuff were 
going down. It wasn't really any discussion or anything. Right. I don't think any of us actually got told why we're playing or why we're not playing. So okay. it's just like, uh, I mean, you guys probably know more than I do in regards to it. That, that, that sounds kind of fucked up, to be honest. Uh, was that roster kind of just like, was the reason that you wanted to, to make this change just kind of like the vibe within that roster? I mean, obviously we heard those problems between Licorice and the bot lane. Um, the bot lane in general just not getting along with the rest of the team. Um, was it just like an environment that you no longer felt comfortable in? Is that the main reason you wanted to leave? Uh, you could say that. And just, I felt like some bridges kind of got burned at world stage where I felt like I wanted to play some more games, but I didn't get the chance to. And just a certain level of tryhard from the coaching staff, I felt like it was really lacking at Worlds, and I wanted something done about that, but the Jack and whoever else decided that it wasn't necessary to change that. Damn, so. So, so it was Reaper versus Svenskeren, we're, we're putting it here first, you know, like... Get the headlines out, you know. We'll just, we'll just uh, clickbait the shit out of it. No, I'm just kidding, obviously. But yeah, I mean, there was oh, definitely a lot of players, dude. Even his active players sort of make it sound like they never quite know fully what Reaper's thinking about. He's not a guy who apparently explains all of his plans. He just gives you, just does it like the Illuminati. He just gives you like the one part you need to know about to work on that part of a, a an engine for a plane or something, you know. And then just see what happens. You know, you don't know what you know what the end case is. Things kind of. though, like you, you must have some thoughts on that. Like, like put it this way: what, on your side, were you were you having more troubles in scrims when you were at Worlds? Did, was it not going well? I didn't recall too much. I think me and Blabber were both. You recall if you were going eighteen and zero versus fucking Griffin and Dan one SKT? So no, the fact he can't recall means it wasn't good. Definitely, we were not losing every game. I remember we were able to beat like RNG and stuff like that. So. It wasn't too bad. The only teams we just got stomped by, I think, were FPX and Damn I don't remember the other Chinese team. Oh, Demong as well. So you had IG? I think IG as well, but we were able to beat like pretty much everyone else.